Okay, let's talk about installing gator crimps. Steel version, stainless version. Instructions from wandersproducts.com. I gave you guys this a couple years ago uh, where you can use just some regular standard hand tools. Uh, cutting cutoff disc there, uh, that's the cobalt cutters from Lowe's, standard hand tools. I'm going to teach you a new method, but the basic steps are still the same. You're going to cut the hose, mark it, strip it, install the sleeve, install the insert, and get it tight. Let's just start right off. Uh, we're not going to use these tools anymore, but we are going to go through all those same steps. I'm going to teach you a new trick here. Let's start with cutting. Always wear some uh, your protection. I use my angle grinder. I got one here that's a skill. I got another one here that's a Harbor Freight. This is probably your best value. Four inch angle grinder, Harbor Freight. 15 years on that guy. It's going to last forever as long as you don't strain the motor. Hold your ears. Nice clean cut. We'll go ahead and put a steel crimp on this. First thing I got to do though is strip it. Well, you can mark it first or strip it. I like to mark it after I put it in the vise. I don't even mark them anymore, but it's not a bad idea if, until you get the hang of it. Because it, uh, probably the most critical part is how far you're going to screw that sleeve on. Put it in your vise, hang it off about a couple inches. Here's the sleeve. Here's the uh, insert. New trick I'm going to teach you guys is to use the 3 8 drill and a, a 3 8 adapter, socket adapter. You can get it at the hardware store. You probably already have one. Okay, we're going with that. We're going the same sockets I taught you before, 11 16 There's your sleeve. Whoop, we didn't mark it. Sorry. Highly recommend you mark it when you're, when you're just getting going here. We're about 7 8 Seven eighths inch, somewhere between seven eighths and an inch. It's about right. My gators are kind of cool because they'll they'll spin on you once you get far enough on. Once you get to the right depth, they, they basically just start spinning. Switch over your nine sixteenths. We're going clockwise with this one. Let the drill take it all the way down. Almost, not quite. Don't let it go all the way. Get it a turn or two off and then finish it off with a hand wrench so that you're not going to over tighten it. You know, these are machine threads. You go too far and you can strip it and mess up the whole crimp. Uh, well, I'm thinking about it. stainless crimp, definitely use uh, Cool Cuff Lube on it. Forgot something else to tell you. If you're going to go buy an angle grinder, don't get this bit here or cutting disc. It's too fat. Get the little 16 inch thick cutting disc, four, four and a half inch. There you go. This customer wanted uh, a Joe valve with a stainless mail. You can specify that on my store, right? You can tell it what you want. In this case, they wanted a Joe valve and a stainless mail, kind of the old school Steamway Butler way. Most of you new guys are going to this now, but for years there we went with the, uh, the female on the end, right? Yep. Okay, finished hose. Joe valve stainless mail. Here's one. Uh, what is this? High heat, 3,300. That's my top selling hose. Just with a regular female QD with a blue cover. Here's some, uh, what is this? Cool Flex. 1275 250. Good carpet cleaning hose. Joe valve. 
female. And will anybody tell you you can't use gator crimps on Parker? Parker Parflex 1035 HT. Right there, it's a good hose. Got a lot of memory, but it's a good durable hose. Definitely gator crimpable.